Hello guys, welcome to today's recording, Tech Lately. My name is Gerald. Today I want to show you how to use CapCut to edit videos. It's one of those tools I love. And the other day I told you about uh, OpenShot. And so this is the website capcut.com and you can click on the download for windows or if you want to use it for on your phone it has a mobile version which i want to show you it appears okay that's it so you just um you go come to the mobile download page for your phone it's android or iphone yeah that's it so i have downloaded a copy of this software and this is it here i wanted to run the installation while I am talking with you. So you just double click on it, install now, agree to the terms and conditions, and then it runs. A relatively fast installation process. And um, well, if it's going to take longer, I uh, will pause the video recording for a bit and then come back to you once it is done. Okay? All right. And then the second. So, guys, the recording is done, and this is it. So I'm clicking to start now. Uh, while that is coming up, I'll pause again to save on time. Okay, guys, so we're back, and the uh, installation completed. Let me show you what it looks like. So, this is the software, and um, it's very easy to use <laughs> very easy to use so guys this is the interface of the software um, the, there are a few things you need to be aware of course when it opens up, up you can see this yellow screen uh, it's like a tutorial it just kind of guides you but we're going to ignore that there are segments to this screen you need to understand <clears throat> one look at this it says import this is where you drag the things you you know this is a video editing uh, it's an editing tool so this is where you drop the things you want to edit uh, all types of media it can be uh, video it can be audio and it can be text as well so now um, this anytime you drag and drop or import a video here it will show up here I'm going to demonstrate that to you and then this tool also has what you call a voice over facility where you can use robots to create the narrative for what you're doing so but let me just quickly start uh, i want to import a video so i click on import ah uh, let me take this right good i've imported it now i want to start editing it i just drag and drop it to this track it's just that simple. You notice that when I dragged it here, it started showing here. So now I can play the video if I want to. You know, but this is a this is an image, so uh, it will not necessarily play. Let me go look for a, a video. I hope this should be this should be a video. Let me see. Uh, let it import. Let's see how that goes. So, importing material zero of one. I hope it imports fast. Or rather, sometimes I just like to drag and drop. So let me drag it and drop it. Okay, this is an MP4 file. Okay, good. So I'm going to just drag and drop it. Uh, watch what happens. I dragged and dropped. I think I'm having a bit of a problem here. Hand on. Okay, so we've got that fixed. Let me import an MP4 file first. That would be like the video. Why is it taking forever to import? Why are you doing like this to me? Okay, so let me see. This is not an MP4 file. Okay, guys, I've got an MP4 file, so I'm just going to either you click on import 
or you just drag and drop. See, I'm dragging and dropping. Let me see what that gives. Cotton material zero one. Okay, guys, I've uh, imported Hello, everyone. an Welcome audio file here. Yeah. So if you notice, Today, immediately it's playing here. I want to examine it here. Yeah. But I'm going to pause it so that I can start. With this, you can immediately play the content. But where you want to edit, you drag it to this place. And then you will see it populate right now. You can either extend it or reduce it. You understand? That's where you can adjust. If I want to, uh, let's say this thing is playing and I want to cut away this part that I don't like, I'll just let it play to that point, pause it, and then it cut it off. You see where it played up to. And then how you move, you move with this uh, playhead, you can move the video to any place you want, and then you can decide to cut it. So let me, let's assume I want to cut it from here. I've already dragged it here. There's this item here, I can just split it. You notice the video has become split in two. This is one half, this is another half. So I can delete this if I want to. That's the editing. I've deleted that portion. Watch what happens now. When I start playing it, that initial portion is not show sure anymore. So it's just a very, it's just cut and paste, really, and drag and drop. Uh, so I mean, that is one uh, for for the audio edit, uh, video editing. I can equally add a, a an audio file to this thing, and uh, the, this happens to be an audio file. So I'm going to I'm going to drag and drop it in, or I can just import it. Depends on what works for you. But watch, this is an audio file. I'm going to drop it here, and it has copied. You see. So if I want to edit yeah. this now, they okay, can hear the point. My name is. Okay, good. So if I want to edit this, I just drag it and drop here, and there you have it. But I have to make sure it aligns with where I want it to align with. If I don't want the video, the audio to play as part of the video, I drag it outside of the video. You see. So the video has to first play to this point before you start hearing this voice. Watch what happens. Now let me drag it to this place so that you can... Thanks for uh, joining So this is playing right now. Um, I hope you found... Yeah. You see? Okay, so fine. It's this audio My name that's is now Gerald. playing. Um, now, if I wanted to so match so. video to this audio now, I'll just drag another video that aligns with the voice that I'm hearing here. Just paste it here. And then this, as this as this playhead starts oh, to play, man, because many of you will notice that the video is playing and the voice is playing along my mailing list. Now, if you notice, this video, this audio here is longer than the video. So I can drag it and just uh, make it match with the video. You see that? When you want to slide, you slide left or right. You see, using this bar here at the bottom. So it's very simple, it didn't take me, in fact I didn't watch any videos to understand this because all video editing tools are basically the same in, in architecture. So you see now that I made the audio smaller than the video, but I make it match. Once you, it aligns, you see a green line here. So now, once this video finishes playing, the voice too will stop playing, but if I want it to be more than the video, I extend it. So that's simple. Now, let me see if I can add um, some voiceover content to it. Just watch. Let me copy some things. And... So now I want to add text. Let's assume I want to add. Uh, remember, this is where we are. We have all our media. This is audio. This is video. Now I want to add text. So I'll just click on this and you see a text. Default text button will show up. You see this plus sign here. Click on it. It has added a voice, uh, a text box. Now, if I double click on this, you see that the screen has changed to show default text. So if I come here, I will delete what is there and just type in something. Let's say um, I want to type in. Uh -oh. Let's say I want to. 
type in as well content here. Hang on a second, please. Let me see. Good. Let me delete this and redo it. So if I want to add content, good. There you have it. Good. It's showing there. So I'm just going to paste my content there. Sorry, in this place, this box right here, I was getting that wrong. So if I come, if I paste what I want to type in there, let me just quickly copy something that is already written. It might save me time, so I don't have to be typing uh, fresh. So I'm going to copy that, paste it here. Well, there you have it. Fantastic. So now this is text that I want to turn add, to add to the video or turn to voice. Once I paste it here, I have the option to uh, turn it to voice. Now remember the text is here. If I click on text to speech, you will see options. These are voices, robot voices that you can use. So let me uh, show you how that works. I'm going to add this guy called Blake, his voice. Start reading. Thor. Okay. Businesses that waited for customers to come usually die. E. G. Blackberry. Nokia. Can you Yahoo understand? Messenger, so, etc. Okay, good. So, this is just an example of that. Hang on a second. I'm going to add more content there to show you. So there's something I want to show you that can be a bit confusing for people. If you notice, when I click on this, on this video here, this interface changes to show video. And this is where you can increase the volume of the sound and all that, you know. Now if I click on this audio, you see volume. I can increase, I can reduce or increase, you see. So these are a few things you need to pay attention to that can be a bit confusing to new users. If I click on text, the interface changes again. And this is where I went to do text to speech. You can play around with all these other ones, but I mean, I'm not looking on going there right now. So let me add content to this and, and show you how the voiceover will sound. I'm very pleased that you are watching my video. You have to be very sure of what you are typing because it's a robot reading. Anything you, <clears throat> you make a mistake on, it will also speak it like that. So let me write that. You have to be very, okay, very careful of errors because the robot <clears throat> will read the error. as it is written <clears throat> so you have to edit your content to be very sure so now let me go to text to speech this is one reason why i like this uh, software because first of all it's free and then you can add voice to it let me choose this guy <clears throat> i kind of like this guy's voice so let's hear what he has to say uh text to speech wacky start reading okay looks like every time i click it uh okay let me remove this so that we can hear i'll just delete this uh oh i deleted it oh boy oh boy oh boy let me undo let me undo ah that one would have been bad though Okay, so let me delete this one. Now, why are you deleting what I didn't send you to delete, guy? Okay, so let's delete now. Ah, I better go. No vex. Let me undo. And then just who could drag this chairman to a different place. That is... Uh, are you people married? Okay, so let me drag or guard to this side. Right? Good. I'm going to drag ah my wow it's like these people they are they are married though. Okay. 
I want a situation where I can just play this alone. Uh, let me see. Hide clip. Okay, good. So let me see how this plays. The voice of the chairman. Uh, it ain't playing. Okay, so let me unhide. Show clip. Let's see what happens. Okay. I think YouTube has given us an opportunity that never existed. No, that's not the voice I want to hear. Okay, it looks like I'll have to redo this text all afresh. Let me delete every guy that's here. Bye. We don't need you no more. Bye. Yes. Get out of my screen. Okay, you go. You go. Delete. You go. Delete. Okay, so let me just... I want to be sure that everything here is free. Okay, so um, we're going to replace it. Good. So let's meet the wacky guy to do the... Businesses that waited for customers to come usually die, e.g. Blackberry, Nokia, Yahoo Messenger, etc. I am very pleased that you are watching my video. You have to be very careful of errors because the robot will read the error as it is routine. As it is written. So all these you have to uh, edit and correct so that the robot can read it uh, very well. Let me see. As it is written, you see, because there's a double E there. So you will see that the voice will change now. Just watch. Uh, the reading will change now. Watch. I am very pleased that you are watching my video. You have to be very careful of errors because the robot will read the error as it is written. You see? So that's it. Let me try another voice. Watch. I am very pleased that you are watching my video. You have to be very careful of errors because the robot will read the error as it is written. Good. So let's check for... Uh, let's see... Narrative female. Let's see. I am very pleased that you are watching my video. You have to be very careful of errors because the robot will read the error as it is written. You see? So these are the few things I wanted to show you. and uh, But there are other softwares you can use in actually doing proper voiceovers. The quality of voice on those ones is far better. I have a tool called Flicky.ai. I'll do a video on that for you guys. You can use that to do voiceover. There's uh, speech alone, which is also very good because the quality of what you turn out for YouTube matters. So guys, thank you uh, for watching this video. Please subscribe, like, and share if you've got people that have questions that this video can answer. Thank you. Have a great day.